Good morning and welcome back to Dr. Logic Awkwardly Does Logic. It's such a pleasure to see all of you again. I hope you are ready for more logic. Today I want to talk to you about necessity and possibility, one of my favorite topics in the entire span of what you can do with logic. Now consider the following sentences. One, not all cats are black. Two, two is even. Three, all humans are animals. Four, it is Tuesday. And five, three plus three equals seven. Now think about which of these sentences are true and which of them is false. So the first one, not all cats are black. That's true. I happen to have a very nice calico whom you've probably seen in previous videos. Two is even, this is also true. It's kind of a basic fact of arithmetic. All humans are animals. Well, if you take kind of the Aristotelian classification of animal, mammal, etc., then yes, this is also true. It is Tuesday. Actually, no, it's not, that's false. Today is Monday right now. And three plus three equals seven is definitely false. If this is the kind of math that you're getting, you're probably going to run into trouble. But it, even though three of these are true and two of them are false, they aren't true and false in the same sort of way. You might think not all cats are black, well, that is kind of accidentally true. It could be that maybe, and this would be terrible to imagine, all of the tabby cats and all of the Siamese and all of the gray cats and all of the white cats, all of them just died. Now we only have black cats. Not very nice to imagine, but it is at least possible. Two is even. Can we imagine a possibility where that isn't the case? Now, I want you to set aside things like, oh, well, if we change what two refers to or change the meaning of even, no, we're going to keep language the same and ask, could the situation described by two is even be different? Now, you could probably find some philosopher of math who could spin out a story that would show you how two could possibly not be even, but that's not going to be mainstream. Most mathematicians, most philosophers of maths are going to say, actually, yeah, it is impossible that two not be even. All humans are animals, again, setting aside questions of redefining what human means or what animal means. This one also seems to be, in a sense, more true or more strongly true than not all cats are black. Then compare the false ones. The first one, it is Tuesday. Well, I mean, it's not Tuesday right now, but it might be Tuesday when you're watching this. So that is a very clear case of something where it's only kind of merely false or contextually false or contingently false. And then three plus three equals seven, the same sort of arguments that we might give for two plus, uh, for two is even being kind of necessarily true would also go for three plus three equals seven being necessarily false. So how can we represent this in logic? That is the fundamental question of necessity and possibility. We can't do it just by looking at the truth values of the individual sentences because we get three true to false. And without something further, we cannot make a distinction between the ones that are merely true or accidentally false and the things that are necessarily true and the things that are impossible. That is what modal logic is going to do for us. So join me next time for more about modality.